Lee, here at the Aerospace Tech Days, we've got the Starag LX021 here. Um, two things we're going to talk about here, the process of manufacturing these blades and another process that we're doing after that, which is really important. Sure, sure. Well, if we, if we start with the process of manufacturing, what we're doing, we're using this LX021 machine. We bar feed, so we can bar feed round, rectangular, any shape into this machine. And we firstly cut the root. These are tiny blades, as you can see. So we produce the root first and foremost, and then we use the machine sub spindle to pull the root out, produce the aerofoil, and that blade is then complete. What's this for? What does it go in? This, this particular blade will go into a, a drone, say, a very high-spec drone. OK, now where does this touch probe come into the equation then, and why do you use it? OK, we use it because we want continuous 24-7 production. So we use the touch probe to measure the blade aerofoil, well, to measure the blade complete. And then we take the data and we use Blum software to then make intelligent decisions. So we could find a deviation on the aerofoil that then requires a tool to be changed, say. Or it may be that we may need to even change the profile of the blade itself. And then the next blade comes off perfect. And is the accuracy of what this can achieve appropriate and enough for a part like you've got there? Sure, I mean, these are accurate parts. So you've got a 20 micron tolerance each side of the blade. So we need to be able to measure it accurately and then, like I say, make a decision on the machine. But it's all about continuous production, lights out, machines being intelligent.